name is Danny. I'm an art instructor, and you're tuned into the Able Arts Work Virtual Learning Channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your watercolors and colored pencils to make some cute candy wrapper designs. For this activity, you'll need some watercolor paper, colored pencils, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and some watercolors. So grab your materials and we can get started. So this activity is going to make use of our knowledge of some basic 2D shapes, and then we're going to add some designs to make them look more like candy wrappers. So I'm going to take my watercolors and I'm going to dip my paintbrush in and add some water. If we keep the colors more translucent, it will be easier to draw on them with colored pencils later. And we're just going to use some basic shapes I think I'll start with a triangle. And to make this look more like a piece of candy, I'm going to add little triangles on the corners to make them look like little twists of a wrapper. So we're going to do that for most of the shapes that we draw, just to make it look more like a piece of candy less like a basic shape. While your watercolor is still wet on the paper, you can try adding another color and observe how it spreads throughout the first paint that you put down. It can make some pretty neat textures. So I've added some blue on top of the green here. When it dries, it should look pretty neat. I'm going to dip my paintbrush into another color. You can pick any color that you like. Don't want you to feel like you just have to follow colors I'm using. I'm mixing some red and purple over here, adding water, and I'm going to make a long shape that is kind of like if you took an octagon with eight sides and stretched it out. So I'm going to make those edges, make it a long shape, finish with the other side. I think that that's a pretty fun, unusual 2D shape here. So we can have fun with our silhouettes. Again, I'm just going to add little wrapper twists. You usually see those in some really basic, simple cartoon candy drawings. Maybe I'll go for some orange next. And let's try a different basic shape as well. It's fun to try to use as many different shapes and colors as we can for fun activities like this. So I'm going to try doing an oval. I think I'll add a little bit of reddish purple to the wrapper see how those colors will bleed throughout the shape. If you don't feel confident with that, you can always just make it one flat color. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Next, I haven't used blue yet, so I think I'll do that. I think I'll make a square shaped candy next. That's another shape we haven't done yet. I think that if I added some small circles, they would look like little M&Ms or Skittles, so they wouldn't have to even be painted as in a packaging with those wrapper twists. So I'm going to make some little dots all lined up. It looks like a cute pattern, but it also looks like maybe there's some yellow M&Ms pretty cute. Suppose I could use a different type of yellow. So I'm gonna go, because the other one I used was a golden yellow, I'm gonna use more of a light greenish yellow. I think I'll try to make a rectangular piece down across the bottom.
I'm going to just add a teeny bit of green paint and see how it can spread throughout the shape. So we've got a little space left. Maybe we can make a few more oval candies. So I'm going to look at this and figure out what colors I might want to add. I think that it would be fun to add more maybe greens and blues. But whenever you're trying to figure out what colors to add next, you can look at your paper, kind of unfocus your eyes and think what you think may be missing. I'm just going to make a couple ovals. They look kind of peachy. It's cute. When you're picking colors also, you could think about what flavor the candies might be. That could be an inspiration for your color palette. I'm going to, I think it could use some round blue candies up here. I'm going to add another little round candy in this corner. Maybe I'll add the twists diagonally so it has a little bit of a different orientation than the other ones. And I'll just add a teeny bit of blue how that color will spread throughout the shape. Cool. So the next thing to do is wait for this to dry and then we can add some colored pencils on top. So I will skip to when my paint has dried and you can pause the video until yours has dried as well. So now we're just going to take our colored pencils. I've got some different colors here that are on the darker end and we're going to make some textures on top of our watercolors or just outline things, make them stand out a bit more. So I'm going to take a dark teal colored pencil. I think I'm going to use it on this triangle candy. I think that uh, I could make it look a bit more bold. So I'm just going to accentuate it a little bit. I think that the center of this triangle would be a good place for a little design, for a little symbol. So I'm just gonna draw a little star. Even though this candy doesn't exist, I think that it can make it really cute and make it look as though it is a nice little treat. Now for the wrapper twists, I'm going to make some dashes leading up to the edges kind of shows the folds where the wrapper ends. So let's try to take a different colored pencil for some other colored candies. For these yellow ones, I think maybe I'll just outline them in red. There's a lot of different ways that you can add textures. You can add stripes. So maybe on this one down here, I'll follow the shape and the body of the candy bar and just start adding some vertical stripes down. Maybe I'll color some of them in. I'm just going to fast forward my video and show how I decided to color mine in or add different textures. Feel free to use some of those ideas. Feel free to come up with your own textures too. some more experience with your watercolors and colored pencils. Check out the other videos on our channel about art, language, and music. 